I've been reading about gene therapy, and we really want to look into this. Think of Ronan being cured. Ronan is four years old. He was diagnosed the year before with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, or DMD, when his mother, Sarah, was concerned about Ronan's clumsiness. His pediatrician found a highly elevated creatine kinase, indicative of DMD, via a blood test. I've been reading up on gene therapy too. There are several kinds that have been in clinical trials over the past few years, and one that is recently approved. But I need to tell you that gene therapy does not cure DMD. It doesn't? No. We just haven't gotten there yet, Sarah. I'm sorry. So then, what's it for? Well, like I said, there's a few different kinds under investigation for delay of onset and severity of symptoms, and possibly prolonging life. Possibly? It's too early to tell. The longest clinical trial so far is only four years long, but the results have been promising. So how does it work? Gene transfer therapy, one of the types of new therapeutics is made by putting the correct DMD gene, a transgene, into a vector, which is a non-infectious virus, and packaging it with a special promoter. It's the promoter that helps it find the target, which in the case of DMD is the skeletal muscle, the heart muscle, and the diaphragm for breathing. Thousands of copies of this package are given through an IV infusion. The transgene is made smaller to fit into the viral capsid, but it was designed to maintain the critical anchor points, the dystrophin expression sequence, and three hinge domains to give it flexibility. There are some tests and things we would need to find out before you and your family make this decision. Like what? We start with genetic testing to see what genetic subtype Ronin is. If he's a candidate, he'll need to take steroids prior to treatment and thereafter. He'll need full cardiac and liver assessment, and we'll do blood tests to check for possible immune response to the vector. Gosh, what are the risks? There are some risks. He'll probably have some nausea, loss of appetite, vomiting, at least for a few weeks. If it's bad enough, it could interfere with him taking the steroids he needs. Gosh, is it worth it? That's something you and your family will have to decide. Clinical trial data show that some boys who receive gene therapy can walk longer distances, maintain muscle strength longer, and that overall progression of the disease is slowed. And he will, of course, need to continue follow-up with PT, his neurologist, his endocrinologist, a GI specialist, and, of course, me. That sounds like it'll be so good for him, and for us. But I would still like more information. He'll still need a team. Close follow-up is critical to boys receiving gene therapy. Let me provide some references for you to learn more about the potential and safety of gene therapy.